Let's go ahead and bring him on. Yo, E, man, first of oh, all, man. I want to say thank you. Thank you for getting up at 2.30 this morning. 2.30. Two, hey, 2.30. Two so, hey, privilege and an honor, bro. Privilege and honor. Hey, hey, I need a huge favor. I was talking to Vandy, and I said, man, you know the enemy, bro, but we're not. We, we, we're going to claim the, the power, you know, uh, and the victory of Jesus Christ. But I had a service worker that came by uh, the day before yesterday and knocked the power out. In some type of way, the Wi-Fi is working, but the Ethernet, that's what I use, the Ethernet, so that fiber optic boy. So I just pray, man, pray the whole time with me. I saw the enemy try to get in. Y'all went out on me and came back in on me. And uh, let's just pray, man, this Wi-Fi is the greatest Wi-Fi ever known to man. That's I just need, I just need the Wi-Fi. I got the word. I just need the Wi-Fi to stay strong. <laughs> Woo! Hey, listen, let's go. Hey, hey, Van, let's go ahead and pray to that end. Amen. Hey, Amen. we go lift you up right now. Uh, go ahead, Van, lift him up. Father, we just thank you this morning that we can call on your name. And we're thankful that there is Wi-Fi available this morning. Hallelujah. Praying, <laughs> because Wi-Fi is available, we know your word is even more available. And so I just pray today that the man of God would be released to share, thus saith the Lord, and that any glitch that may take place, your power will still move right through any glitch that will take place. And we'll be careful, Father, to give it the praise. We don't need anything ordinary. We've been blessed all week. But, Father, we need favor today. We need mm -hmm. you to sit on us, to rest. Oh, on yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have your way in mm -hmm. our life. We're praying for conviction today. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. we're asking that you convert us through the message that is going to be shared today. Yes, Lord. Speak, Holy Spirit. And yeah. we will give you praise for what you are about to do in all of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Praise God. Go ahead. Let's Hallelujah. get it. Yeah, yeah. Um, praise God. Man, what a mighty God we serve. I, I need you to do me a huge favor. Um, I didn't I didn't come to wax deep today. You know, I came to um I came to free somebody up today. And when I say free, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't mean, you know, like um break the chain free. I, I mean Jeremiah 29 11 is clear. You know, God, before you were even born, God had a specific plan in your life. And the only thing I want to see happen in 2022 and beyond is that you and God get on the exact same page. You understand what I'm saying? Like it, as a father, you know, anytime my children are struggling, you, you know, it, it, it pains me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny, but you know, I, I'm not a deadbeat dad. Like I, I legitimately set up my life to make sure that my babies were set up. You know, I did what I needed to do financially. I did what I needed to do academically. I needed I, I did what I needed to do with their mama. I did what I needed to do with that with their grandma. I, I did what I needed to do with my community so that they could have a village. Like yo, I handled my I, I legitimately handled my business when it came to my children. Now I'm not saying when I was a teenager, I necessarily handled my business. I'm not saying, you know what I'm saying? When I was a young adult, I necessarily handled, but as a father who brought children in the world. I need you to hear what I'm saying. I set them up for success, right? And anytime they veer away from the plan, I had talked to my son yesterday. I like, bro, we got a plan, bro. Like we got a plan, bro. Like let's stick with the plan. Listen to me very closely. Your steps are ordered. You got to hear me. Your steps are, the steps of a righteous man, uh, they ordered. So what does that mean? Now I'm a Midwest kid. You know, I'm from Chicago, Detroit, right? Uh, my grandma had 14 kids. And so I got an aunt younger than me. I got uncles. You feel what I'm saying? And aunties, that's like, right? Like we could have been in high school together. We, we could have gone to college together, right? We that close to age, right? So my uncles and aunties that are a little older than me, we ran together coming up. So in the snow, right? The snow, three inches, four inches, five inches of snow, we all planned. What I would do is I would literally let my uncle, my aunties go ahead of me, and then I would walk in the snow behind them. I'm talking to somebody before we get in the message today. I'm, I'm telling you, like, there's, like, four inches of snow, five, six, eight, like, that's deep, right? It's steep, right? But it's easy in it when you're walking in some yeah okay you hear what i'm saying and, and i'm just trying to tell y'all the steps of a righteous man 
are ordered. Now, I'm going to take my time. I don't mean I'm going to talk for a long time. I just mean I'm going to relax and take my time because I'm, I'm literally here today to give you a breakthrough. That was the assignment. I, my, Myron, I understood the assignment, right? That was the assignment. Breakthrough. That was the assignment. So give me a minute before we go to the screen. I want to show you something. But I, I want you to decide where you need a breakthrough. I want you to decide that. Now, I want you to know who's talking to you and why I'm talking to you today. I say this in the spirit of humility that in every single category of my, my life right now, by the grace of God, we are balling. I need you to understand that. I need uh, my marriage. Like most of you know, I'm from, you know, if you know me, for the most part, you know, you, Detroit, right? Of course, I was born in Chicago. My mother and I was together. My mother ended up getting married and we moved to Detroit, right? Um, blessed to have a, a winter home. Like I'm, I, I, I know some of the people that's on the line, so I want to make sure I set it up before we go into there. Like, I, I'm not about to just go into the word. I'm, a, I, I, I'm going to be the word for a minute right now. I, 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 like how you look up to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and when we go into the word, I want to show you in 2022, the word is still real. So, so, so I want you to understand that in my marriage, I've been married almost 32 years. We're in a state of blissfulness. Now, listen to me very closely. I ain't say perfection, but I said blissful. Like that kind of stuff we was doing when we was in high school. That 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 our freshman year in college, like our uh, our fir first year of marriage, right? From a financial standpoint, right? We 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 moving into the eight nine figures. Listen to me very close. And every I, look, I don't say this publicly, but you need to understand as a man or a woman of God. Why? Because according to what Myron is asking me to preach, I got the breakthrough. I have a business where my children work for the, you understand, my daughter's finishing up her master's. My daughter's about to get, um, uh, open up her own firm, right? And then we're going to shift NBA players to her. We're going to shift NFL players to her. We're going to shift it, uh, Major League Baseball players to her. Why? Uh, because now we can take insurance because of my daughter. Look, I'm trying to get you to, I, I, I'm trying to get you to see. I was just in Dubai two, three, uh, um, uh, two months ago, probably. I'm on my way back in a couple of days. Like, look, we, like God has shown me, I got a plan for you, boy. I got a plan. Like before you was born, I had a plan for you. Relationship with my mom. Listen to me, not only am I in Cali, for the winter, my mom and my father are here in Cali, my father who raised me, right? I would just pick my mom up from Oceanside, took my mom to grocery shopping. We chopping it up. I'm not telling you. I'm talking about the, 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 the above me. <laughs> we uh, under me. We right, Why? Because I've embraced Jeremiah 29, 11, and I don't have no plans no more. Like I have absolutely no plans. Are you hearing me? All my plans are God's plans. So here's what I want you to do. I I want you to decide before we get started because I'm gonna give you something, right? I promise you that we're gonna reverse engineer. That's all I'm doing. I'm gonna reverse. Uh, listen to me. I, I want to help you through. I got listen to me very closely. I I'm not here to talk about me. I'm here to tell you that what Daddy wants for me, Daddy wants for you. All right, you just gotta understand that. This ain't about ET. I want both of my kids to. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not blessing one of them. I'm not blessing Jalen and keeping Jada out. I'm not blessing Jada, Jada and keeping Jalen out. They, I, they both. I, oh, are you hearing me? They, I, I want them both to prosper, even as they soul prosper. I want them both to. I, like I was with my mom, no lack. I'm like, mom, buy whatever you want to buy. How long you want to be here? Like my mom is in Cali and she not in the house with me. My mom is staying on the ocean and I'll see her when I see her. You're not hearing what I'm saying. I, I, and so what is it that you want? What do you want? What's the, what's the breakthrough that you want? What do you need? First of all, you got to know God's got it. I mean, I'm, I'm telling, and the reason why I'm telling you is because you know me. You know me. You saw me at Oakwood. You know me. I went to your church for a week of prayer. You saw me. I baptized you. You saw me. Y'all, y'all, like, I'm not going to talk just about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, because then you can get away with murder. Then you can be like, oh, that's, they in the Bible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they super spiritual. They walk with Jesus. No, I'm telling you that you know me, and you know where I started from, and you know who I am in the earth. You understand what I'm saying? I, I, I want to be humble, but you understand who I am in the earth right now. You could cut the TV on and see me doing a commercial. You, you, I'm just, come on, I'm just being real. You can't cut your computer on and not see me. Are you hearing me? You, 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 when you look at the best in the world, you, you, I, I'm, and so this is not about me. This is about you. 
and what God wants to do through you. And so let's get started. Now you ready? And so I like Myron, what you want me to talk about? And said breakthrough. I said, ooh, there we go. There we go, right there. So we're gonna we're gonna do a word. We're not we're not gonna do breakthrough. That's not the word we're gonna use. We're gonna use a word inside the word. Right. And I want you to write this word down. Brandon, if you don't mind, they ready for the slides now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. They're ready for the slides now. So 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 number one, I want you to write this down. All right. Breakthrough. All right. All right. Breakthrough. We're going to write this down. Come on. Breakthrough. Right. Come on. The, the process. OK, I'm sorry. Let's not go there. That, I'm, I'm 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 going ahead of myself. OK. Oh, let me I'm going ahead of myself. Well, breakthrough. We're going to go breakthrough first. A sudden, please, please do me a favor. Some of y'all have gotten so much word. You've been in the church for so long that when you get the word now, it's like entertainment for you now, right? It's entertainment. Like you're so used to getting the word that God brings you a powerful word and it's hard for you to apply it because you critique the word. Like you trying to like relax, y'all relax. This ain't that. You ain't like you ain't got nothing to prove. You ain't got to prove you smart. You ain't got to prove you deep. You ain't got to prove you know the word. Like we we know that this morning. You need a breakthrough. That's what we on this morning. You are not where you're supposed to be financially. B bottom line, I'm working with somebody that I love this week, and I'm like, yo, how is it that you 48, 49, and you still living from check to check? Like that ain't godly. Bump. Bump, you know what I'm saying, a, a doctrinal belief. That ain't godly. The fact that if you die right now, your babies ain't got nothing. That ain't godly. The fact that we would have to do a GoFundMe, that ain't godly. You were you were born with multiple gifts, and your gifts shall make room for you. I said, bruh, you, you don't need to be over here just working with me. You need a breakthrough. You you need to understand that 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 your mama counting on you, that your wife counting on you, your kid, you got kids. Oh, come on, somebody! I was talking to somebody the other day. Uh, they hadn't even finished high school yet. I said, "Come on, you need a breakthrough." It's no, it's no way you gonna tell me you forty some years old, almost fifty years old, right? And you still haven't mastered the English language. Right? You haven't taken advantage of the academic opportunity. Now you listen to what I'm telling you. You need a breakthrough, dog. Only you a grown man. You are a grown, you mean to tell me you're a grown man and you got addictions, right? We all got vices. We all got addictions. But you mean to tell me you're a grown man and you let your vices destroy? You letting them, every time you build up with one hand, you personally tearing down with the other hand. You too grown for that. You ain't 19, 20 years old no more. You you got you got stuff that's calling you and pulling you away from your calling from your. I'm not talking about what your boss doing. I'm not talking about what your wife doing. I'm not talking about what your. I'm saying you personally have things that 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 are vices that are killing you. You grow. When you go. When you gonna be stronger than your dog on vices? You a grown man. So listen to me very closely. We're not playing no games no more. You need a breakthrough. Are you hearing me? I love it, Myron. You need a breakthrough. And I need you to decide this morning. Come on. I need you to decide this morning which breakthrough you're going to start with because you need one. <laughs> you need to decide which one. And so for me, I started with the academic boy. We're going to go ahead and get this master's. We're going to go ahead and get this PhD. We're going to overcome not being able to read at a certain level. I was grown, y'all. I was grown and phonetically challenged. I was grown and certain words I couldn't read. I'm sitting here preaching and I'm fumbling over the words while I'm preaching. God said, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't ignorant. Go practice, go study. Doggone it. You can listen to an audio, listen to, the, listen to the Bible on tape and let him pronounce the word for you. You lazy. <laughs> like my man gonna tell you what the word is, doggone it. <laughs> you can just listen to it, but you lazy. You need a breakthrough. You lazy. You need a breakthrough. You trifling. You need a breakthrough. And you sitting here saying you want to be blessed financially, but you don't want to listen to an audio tape. And so you need a breakthrough. Hallelujah. And I'm so grateful for this ministry because they started there. You need a breakthrough. I'm not going to be deep today, but I'm going to tell you, stop. Stop going to the grocery store. Stop. Stop going to the clothing outlet. Stop. Stop going to buy new J's. Stop. Stop going to get a new car. Stop. Stop going to get a new house. Stop. Stop going to get new women. Stop. You need a breakthrough, dog. On it. Ain't no clothes about to do nothing for you. You don't need no more shoes. You don't need no more women. You don't need no another house. Listen to me. We grown men. We grown men. Other grown men trying to take me to their house to show me their house. Bro, I'm a grown man. I don't need to see your house. I'm a grown man. I don't need to see what kind of car you drive. You still on that? You 30, you 40, you 50, you 60, and you still on the house? 
You still own a car? I, look, I had to tell these young brothers that I mentored the other day. I said, bro, you a king. Do you agree with that? They said, yeah, we king. I said, well, if you a king, the kingdom come with being a king. Ain't nobody trip. You ain't tripping because you got a king chair if you a king. You ain't tripping if you got a king cup if you a king. You ain't tripping if you got, if you a king. You supposed to have a palace. You don't show that off. That, that comes with being a king. And that's what we're going to focus on today. We're going to get a breakthrough so we can be the kings that God, God calls us to be so we can get the kingdom. Watch what it says. I love it. It says a sudden, hallelujah, <laughs> a sudden, meaning that by the time we get off this doggone computer, it all be some changes in your life. A sudden dramatic, huh? Some of y'all, you've been, you've been prolonging your breakthrough. That's, that's what I love what Myron said. Like, you know, you need a breakthrough. But yet that was five years ago when you was talking about you needed a, uh, 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 somebody called me yesterday, you know, and I promise y'all, I ain't, I ain't no hater. They called me yesterday and, and I swear to you, the conversation we had, we've had, they called me every eight months. We had the exact same conversation the last three times, the last three years that we had the conversation. I said, bro, what are you calling me for? Every time you call me, we start with the same, we start, you start with the exact same thing. You say the same thing. Oh, we ain't talked in a while. And I know you this. I said, you don't know me. You don't know that. Like, what do you call? I said, do me a favor. I don't have any feelings for you. Meaning that we didn't grow up together. We didn't go to school together. We didn't go to college together. We have absolutely no history together. Now, we're blood. We share the same DNA, but we have no history together. So listen to me. Do me a favor. Don't call me again unless when you call, you want to talk about our future, not our past. When you going to get your dog on breakthrough? You serve a God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Again, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. And they are able to do exceedingly abundantly beyond. So if they can't do exceedingly abundantly beyond, it means something wrong with you. It means you don't want your breakthrough. You have a God that says, not only can I heal you, I, I'm willing to heal you. I want to heal you. He said, can I be made whole? Can you? <laughs> can you? By your faith, you will be made. Can you be made? Yeah, you could be made whole. And not only can you be made. Listen to me. Y'all got to understand something. Jesus said, not only can I do it, I'm willing to do it. I want to do it. As a matter of fact, we got a problem. I want your breakthrough for you more than you want your breakthrough. I'm trying to tell y'all in the name of Jesus Christ. We hadn't gotten to the word yet. Just work with me for a minute. But I'm telling you that there's only one thing you're going to need to get your breakthrough. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Watch, watch what it is. A sudden, so don't be procrastinating today. We're going to ask you to make some, we, we're going to ask you to make some commitments today. And those commitments are going to change you. A sudden, dramatic, important discovery. <laughs> that ain't the word though. Or development. Write the word down in the name of Jesus. Write the word down. I got up early this morning. I got up at two o'clock this morning. I got up early this morning. And that was the word that the Lord gave me. Write it down. 2022, 2022, 2022. Come on, write the word down. 2022 is the, is the year of development. Hallelujah. When, 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 when God says he's going to give you a breakthrough, here's what he's saying. You're going to, you're, you're going to, we're going to do it together. Myron, all of us, we're going to do it with you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, we're going to help you to develop, right? Now, let me break this thing down for you because I want to make it plain, and then we're going to go to the Word of God. I want to make it plain for you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Write the Word down. Here's what I want you to do for me. I want you to read every book you can on development. I want you to study um, every human that you know uh, is, is, is in the the business of development. I want you to pray. I want you to write the word down. I want you to talk to your spouse, to your children. I, I, I want you to become obsessed. I want you to become obsessed with development because when I reverse engineer my life and I look at people that I was in high school with, I look at people that I was in college with, I look at people that I work with, I am no, I'm not suggesting that I am a better human than anybody. 
I'm darn not saying that uh, I'm perfect. I'm not, I'm not suggesting that I'm more intelligent. I'm not saying I come from a better family and a better background. But if it's one thing that I've done as I look through the Bible, that I see men and women of God who lived at the highest level, what they did versus the people who, who are not on their level, what they did not do was development. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm talking to somebody. I want to just let me go to the word real quick. Write the word down, though. Don't play with it. Development. And I want you to be honest with God. Where do I need to be developed? Because here's the challenge. The challenge is not that God hasn't blessed you. The challenge is you haven't you haven't developed the. Ble OK. All right. OK. All right. Let's go here real quick. All right. I want to read something to you. Oh, my, my, my. And the Bible declares. Now, the rulers of the Philistines assembled. Hallelujah. To offer a sacrifice to Dagon, their God. And their, their God and to celebrate saying, our God has delivered Samson, our enemy, into our hands. Oh, my, my, my. And when the people saw him, they praised their God saying, our God has delivered our enemy in our hands. The one who laid waste our land and multiplied our slain. While they were in high, they in high spirit, y'all. They in high spirit, y'all. The Bible says they shout, bring out Samson to entertain us. So they called Samson out of the prison and he performed for them. Oh, my, my, my. I just want you to catch this. I want you to catch this real quick. I wish I had a little bit more time just to sit down and get you in the word. Listen to me very closely. We're talking about Samson. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we're talking about Samson. Hallelujah. You go back and you read. Hallelujah. You read you read about Samson. Samson was so he was so anointed. He was so gifted. He was so special that an angel, as a matter of fact, his mom said, I don't know who this I don't know who this angel was, but he was fine. I don't know who this, and Samson was so anointed. He was so gifted. He was so special. Like many of you who are watching me right now. You are so gifted. You are so special. You are so anointed uh, that, that an angel came and visited his mom and said, do me a huge favor. Yo, 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 this what you're not about to have an ordinary child. So I need you to do me a huge favor. I'm there. We, we got some dietary uh, uh, boundaries. It's some stuff he can't eat. It's some stuff he can't touch. It's some stuff he cannot do. Please listen to what I'm trying to tell you. It's some stuff that he can't drink. It's that matter of fact, do me a favor. Don't ever take a razor to his head ever. Like, like he gifted, he's special. I'm saying to myself, wow, God, my, my, my man, he had an angel introduce him. That's like on some Jesus Christ stuff. That's another level. This dude is the God, God himself. Said, it sounded like Jesus was the one that came down and talked to her. I mean, he came all the way down to say, you got somebody special. And then I'm reading how special he is. And his specialness takes him to a female vices. And she takes him down. And now he's entertaining the people that he's supposed to deliver the Israelites from. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? So what I've discovered, it doesn't matter what God says about you. It doesn't matter what your mama say about you. It doesn't matter what your daddy say about you. It doesn't matter what you eat and what you don't eat. It don't matter what school you go to. It doesn't matter who you hang out with. It don't matter who your coach is. It don't matter how you get developed. It doesn't matter. If you are not in the business of development, you will find yourself a slave. I need you to hear what I just said. Because we're going to wrap this thing up today and you're going to get into a community. You will find yourself a slave if you don't get. I'm saying, what's the difference between uh, uh, Samson and, 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 and uh, uh, Moses? Moses went in the desert and got developed. Yeah, you heard what I said. I said, I might be wrong, Bishop. But last time I checked, I think, I think, I think, I think he went away and got developed for 40 years. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Last time I checked, Paul uh, uh, was not only knocked off his horse, he was blind, amen, and went somewhere for multiple days and got developed. Oh, you might, you're not hearing what I'm saying. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Even Jesus himself went in the wilderness and he got developed. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? He got developed. That's what a breakthrough is. A breakthrough is nothing but a sudden, dramatic 
development. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> you trying to make a breakthrough something deep. You you try you trying to make a breakthrough something that 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 God's going to do. You trying to make a breakthrough uh, something celestial. Like you trying to make it more than what it is, right? And the reason why you trying to make it more than what it is is because if you get to make it more than what it is, then you don't have to be responsible and you don't have to do it. A breakthrough is nothing but sudden development, dramatic development. Uh, uh it, it 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 is the uh, discovery that something is wrong and I need to develop. I need to get my stuff together. So when I look at Paul, when I look at Jesus, huh? when I look at Moses and I look at what they were able to accomplish, it was because they were in the business of development. Well, I want to slow down right here. Your problem is, your problem is, yeah, you, you are charismatic. You are. Yep, yep, yep. Your yep. Your problem is you do have a dream and a goal, and you are going after it. Yep, yep. Your your problem is you you do want to be with a squad, a team, and you do you do want to be a part of a cause. Yep. Your problem is yep. You 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 are gifted in structure. You are gifted in systems. Yep. But your problem is you not you've not you're not you've not developed yourself. Some of you, and I'm not trying to dog you out. I'm trying to help you. Uh, uh, when I first got the first iPhone, I'm an iPhone dude. The first iPhone I ever got, I think it was. The iPhone 5, iPhone 6. Do you know that they do you know that they are at iPhone 13 right now? Do you understand that the camera is different? Do you understand that the functionality is different? Do you understand when I got the iPhone 5 or the iPhone 6, all we was doing on that Joker, it was a phone that was it with a little baby texting that was it. Do you understand now that you don't even need a computer if you got a phone? The problem with some of you is that when God put you on this earth, you were an iPhone 4, an iPhone 5, and you still an iPhone 4. You still an iPhone 5. Yes, you're gifted. Yes, you handsome. Yes, you fine. <laughs> yes, you got it going on. Yes, you got a sweet car. Yeah, you got a phenomenal house. But you ain't been developed. You got all this stuff around. Your, your car is a better making model than you are. <laughs> I just cannot be honest with y'all. Your car is a better make and model than you are. Your car is a 2019. You ain't even a 2019. Your car is a 2020. You ain't even a 2020. And may I suggest to you that you don't have what God wants you to have because you refuse to be developed. You want to stay the same brand. You want to say, and Samson's problem was, bro, let's go through it. My man could kill 10,000 people at one hand. He didn't, he didn't have a talent problem. He didn't have a woman problem. He had one chick, got rid of her, got another, got another, got another. Bro, he had Delilah. He had one of the uh, one of the most sought after females of, of all the land. My man was so deep, he couldn't even find a woman at the crib. He had to go out elsewhere to get. You, we, you ain't got no problems getting women. We know you could do that. You ain't got no problems dressing nice. You could do that. I see you. I've seen folks since I've been at Oakwood, but they suits are more developed. Their suits are sweeter than they are. That's why I ask you, when are you going to get in the business of development? Hmm? When are you going to grow as an individual? And let me tell you this. This is the last scripture I want to give you before we get out of here. I am literally, I am literally a, 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 hallelujah. I want to say this properly. Let me say it the way Toby said it. Toby said, I'm a beast and your father figure. I have literally become a father figure to so many in this world, not the United States of America, in this world. Why? Am I smarter than them? Absolutely not. Am I finer than most of the dudes? Not, not. Do I have the physique? Absolutely not. But I'm developed. I'm developed. I'm developed mentally. I'm developed academically. I'm developed spiritually. I'm developed relationally. I'm... Re so let me give you an example real quick. Uh, I, I, I'm at a point in my life where I'm not even in the business of making money so I can eat. We've been there, done that. I'm actually in the business of creating businesses for other men. I'm actually in the business of helping create jobs for other men. I'm actually in the business of, 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 of we're getting our own bank. I'm actually in the business of our own mortgage company so men can come to us, hey amen, with, a, with a, a 600 credit score because it doesn't matter. People just use that like to kind of keep you out. I'm not in the business anymore of looking out for my family. I'm in the business of looking out for family. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. When I became a man, I put away. You're still a man. That's why you're not putting away certain stuff on the internet. That's why you're not putting certain females away. That's why you're not putting certain, oh, you're not hearing me, behaviors, tendency, because you're still a boy, and you have the nerve to want to be a boy but get man stuff. It don't work like that. Ain't nobody mad at you because you want to be underdeveloped. 
but you can't be underdeveloped and get playing time. <laughs> I say you can't. And coach ain't about to lace you up and put you out there on the court to do what? What? What are you gonna put you on the court to look good? To be flashy so your mama can see you today, so you can put stuff up on the internet. The coach trying to win, get developed. If you are developed, Kyrie Irving, if you are developed, Kyrie Irving, if you are a man, if you are a man amongst men, Kyrie Irving, come on, somebody talk to me. If you are a man, if you have morals and principles and standards, if you are, come on, we, we ain't seen nothing else in the last few years with Kyrie. We've seen him spiritually develop. We've seen him develop as a man. We've seen him have his own standards, his own, come on, his own belief system. And he stood up for what he believed. And guess what? They, my man, not playing home games. And I ain't stupid. Them home game by the time they get to the playoffs, I'm not dumb. By the time they get to the, if they make it to the finals, I guarantee you he's gonna be playing home games and away game. Why? Because he developed. He didn't he didn't do the fake vaccination card. He didn't do the boy thing. He, he didn't he didn't do the shortcut. He didn't he, he didn't run. He didn't hide. He did the man thing. Oh, and it's oh, come on, somebody. I didn't want to tell you about basketball. He did the man thing. I'm not about to lie, act like I got the vaccination. I'm not about to lie, act like I want to be vaccinated. I'm not about to sit here and lie and act like I believe in vaccination so I can play a game. My manhood is more important than a game. Why? Because boys play games. Men develop kingdoms. Got time to be playing no game. If y'all take the NBA from me, I'm going to be all right. Why? Because I'm a man. I'm a grown man. I would be all right. I listen to me. I'm a man, meaning what? I developed, meaning I build. I don't tear down. I'll never forget. Rest his soul. Uh, my boy B, B, Brian Tom, Thomas, for those of you uh, who know him, Jeremy, my boy Jeremy. I'll never forget when uh, uh, when Lil B called me, you know, and he said he was about to be in prison. And I said, B, let, do me a huge favor. Uh, at that time, we didn't know how much time he had. Uh, kind of found out that he had three years. I said to him, listen to me very closely, bro. Listen to me very closely. Don't worry about your family. Don't worry about your wife. I'll hire your wife. Don't worry about your wife. If you're down for three years, we'll put her on a squad. We'll pay your wife. We'll make sure every, she has everything she needs. And watch this, Myron. I'm not, I'm not going to pay your wife and take care of your wife so I can manipulate your wife. <laughs> you know, you got some bros, Myron. They'll bless you, but they're blessing you to manipulate you. They're blessing you to, to, to get an advantage. They're, they're getting like Lucifer. They're having a conversation with you so they can tell you that. I said, bro, I got you. I said, listen to me very closely. You are a king who was building a kingdom before you went to prison. Here, here's what I'm going to do for you. While you're in jail, me and my crew will continue to help build your kingdom. <laughs> why you go? Why you on lockdown? We will build your kingdom while you go. We got you. Don't worry about it. Wifey taking care. Are you hearing me, y'all? My, my, my mentor, my first pastor, Dr. Philip Willis, passed away, met his granddaughter. She said, look, I got one thing. I, I, I let my grandfather down. He wanted me to go to Oakwood. I couldn't make it to Oakwood. I kind of played around. I want to go to Oakwood. I said, as long as you want, I'm paying for it. Watch this, Myron. She called me a uh, 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 last Maybe the last semester, Myron, she called me or the one before. Uh, and I said, how you doing? She said, I'm doing great. Grades are great. Everything is great. I said, OK, you hadn't been reaching out to me. What's going on? She said, I've been working. I said, what you mean working? You supposed to be going to school. I, I'm paying for you to go to school. What you mean working? You working at the calf? She's like, no. I said, what are you working at? She said, I'm doing DoorDash. I said, you're doing DoorDash. You're a female. You're doing DoorDash. You taking people food to them with time. She's like, well, you know, after school, sometimes, you know, eight o'clock at night, nine o'clock. I said, you taking food to a stranger. You a female driving to somebody's house and knocking on somebody's door where they can snatch you. I said, do me a huge favor. Don't, don't you ever do that again. You go to school. She said, well, what am I supposed to do about my bills? Send them to me. <laughs> send them to me. That's what you do. You send me your bill. Well, you paying for me to go to school. Send me your bills. I got it. Why? Because your grandfather had me when I was homeless, when I was a high school dropout. He brought me in. He baptized me. He put me in that community. And then he sent me to Oakwood College. He sent me to Oakwood on his name. Why? Because he was a man. I wasn't a man. I didn't have a name. I didn't have a name. Didn't nobody know who I was. I didn't have credit. We're not talking about credit in terms of uh, uh, your credit score. As a man, I didn't have credit. As a man, I was a high school dropout. As a man, I was homeless. I didn't have credit. He gave me his, he co-signed his life. He co-signed his character. He co-signed his name and got me into Oakwood and the rest is history.
I said, listen to me very closely. You don't got to do nothing. I owe your, I owe your grandfather. In his grave, I will honor him. In his grave. So, 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 so I want you to do me a favor. All right, let's get out of here. This will be the last slide. My, I, my, I don't know if we can do q and I don't know if we got time for that or not. I do apologize if we don't. But if we could do q and I want to do q and right, Listen to me. Y'all got to get into it. We can do it. We can do it. Okay, we can all do right, it. All right. All right. All right. Way, yeah. so, so, so let me, these quick questions. Just You can see it on the screen. Ask yourself, do, do, do you want a breakthrough? Right? Do you want a break or do you want a breakthrough? Huh? Because I'm going to tell you something. It's not going to be easy. And it's not going to be easy, not because it's difficult. It's not going to be easy because we get in our way. Samson got in Samson's way. It's not it, Samson got in Samson's way. It's, 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 it's easy, y'all. I, I mean, it's simple. It ain't easy. It's simple. It, wh wh where I, I'm, I'm so upset with myself right now. I'm like, I could have been on this financially. I could have been doing what I'm doing, traveling the world and blessing people. I could have been, I, man, mine, this thing is so crazy. Um, um, based on taxes instead of, you know, there's some things you can do. And so we decided with our taxes, one of the things we was going to do was put money aside for kids to go to Oakwood, right? What, let me tell you something. This blew my mind. Let me tell you something. When you are a man, you develop the people around you. My lawyer called me who handles all of our uh, estates. My lawyer called me and said, E, we're going we're gonna to send a few hundred thousand dollars to Oakwood for a scholarship. She said, but watch this. The scholarship is this scholarship is specifically for kids who are on academic probation like you were. <laughs> I said, what? She said, yeah, I read the book. I read the book. I read the book. They, they gave you a scholarship when you was on academic probation. I read the book. I saw it. Dr. Baker told you, keep your mouth shut because I'm not supposed to be doing this. But I, my wife, she said she had a dream about you. My wife said that God told her to tell me to look out for you. So you can't tell nobody until you graduate. Not me. My, my lawyer called me and said, we about to do a couple hundred grand and we're going to do it for kids who are on academic. I said, shut your mouth. On, on what? That's what I'm trying to tell you. I was a boy. When I, when I was a child, I spake like, I understood like, I behaved like. But when I became... I'm telling you, it's a lot of stuff that you want. And on the other side of it, develop, it development is on this side. And then the reward is on the other side of development. I, I leave y'all with that. I've literally started a business where I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to develop my own assessment to develop men. <laughs> You're not hearing what I'm saying. I, I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to, to have uh, an, an organization, an entity, a group software. To Why? Because I understand now. Eric Thomas is not where he is because he read the word. I'm not where I am because I went to just because I went to Oakwood. I'm not where I am just because I sat under Pastor Doggett. I'm not where I am because I read a couple books. I'm not where I am. I, I look at the X factor and its development. All those years, I developed him as a husband. I developed as a father, still doing it. I developed as a businessman. I developed as a shepherd. Come on, are y'all hear what I'm saying? I, I, I developed as a pastor. I, de I, de I, I remember when I used to preach, I used to be like, man, I pray that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I do a good message. I pray that, you know, the people like, bro, I'm a man now. I don't got time for that. When I get up now, I pray that you get developed. <laughs> like, I don't care if you walk away. Oh, that was fine. Oh, ET, fine. Oh, I needed to hear that. I'm not interested in what happens for this 40 minutes. I'm, I'm trying to give you the tools you need <laughs> for a year from now, two years from now, three years. I want you to listen to me. This is how I know my message was fire. When your wife say, yo, I need you to listen to more ET. <laughs> that when I know when your wife go, man, uh, Mr. Thomas, my, he washing dishes now. When I see grown men in the airport and their wives say, he treat me better. He washing dishes now. He humbled himself. He, he said he's sorry. He doing stuff that he never did before. He put the video games down. He put the investment work down and he's spending time with his kids. That's when I know. Ain't nobody tripping on you talking about that was a fire message. It ain't a fire message until it develops you. Until you get developed by it mean it didn't work. It don't work. You just got pumped up and hyped up and you running around. I'm telling you, I'm telling you as I leave, I'm telling you when you get developed, some of the stuff you crying about, 
I mean, I used to, man, I remember my wife, I used to be like, mom's going to keep it 100, mom. I used to just be like, man, she tripping, bro. Like, come on, we need to have way, we need, we need to be way more sexually active than we are right now. This only makes sense. I'm not, I'm, well, I, I, we would give, I was doing more than this when we was, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm just being real, Myron. Guess what, though, Myron? When I started taking my wife to Dubai on the Emirates boy, the first class $15,000 seats, look like your living room. When I, when she in the executive suites, when she can go get a massage every single day, when I put her mama in a position where her mama don't got to work no more, the, with the kid, oh, Myra, let me just say this to you, Myra. I'm keeping it 1,000 with you, Myra. I can't keep up now. Oh, you not hear what I'm saying? I was, a, oh, come on. I can't, Vandy, can I just be real, Vandy? I'm like, yo, you're doing too much. Like, I got to go to bed. Like, I got to get up at three o'clock. I got somewhere to be. I don't have time to stay up and watch. I'm trying to tell y'all when I was a boy, I was asking for man stuff and I wasn't getting it. And I was pissed. And God said, stop being pissed. Just become a man. Oh, come on. I want to help somebody. I want to help somebody. I'm, I, I just uh, got a, a, a gig. My man said, Myron, can you send us a video? Uh, 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 uh. I said, no, I can't send you no video. He said, bro, if you could just send us a promotional video. I said, I can't send you a promotional video until I get the plane ticket, until I get the contract signed, until I get my money. I need 50% up front. Oh, y'all not hearing what I'm saying. I'm a man now. I, my man said, all right. I, I got the ticket. I got the seventy-five thousand dollar, fifty percent. I got, I got the, I got the contract. Y'all not hearing me. And when he, when he hit me up, he said, "Well, for that hundred and fifty, not only do you come speak, we need you to come to a dinner." When you call, I said, "Bro, one fifty, bro. I'm not, I'm not interested. You're not getting nothing else. <laughs> this all you getting, bro. That's it. You're not getting." Get nothing else. Watch this, y'all. Back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. I ain't doing nothing else but speaking for 45 minutes. Are you hearing what I'm trying to tell you? When you become a man, you don't got to negotiate as much. When I was a boy, I had to negotiate. When I was a boy in this industry, I had to negotiate. I had to say, uh, uh, well, can you not do a connecting flight? Can we just get at least get? I sit in the back, but can we do a straight flight, though? I sit in the back, but can we not do three flights to get me there? Can you not put me in a hotel that's outside that somebody can just come up and just run up in? You know what I'm saying? Can you not? Can I get a hotel where you got to put it in the code to get to the room on, on that floor? Can I? Are you hearing what I'm trying to tell y'all? Listen to me. I stopped crying. I stopped whining. And I developed. And when you develop, my last one, I just bought a home in California. My wife wasn't satisfied with the floors. Myron, the whole house is wood, Myron. But there were some defects. And my wife was like, I'm going to need them defects fixed. I'm like, boo. You're going to need the defects fit. Boo, the whole house. She's like, yep, I paid a lot of money for this house. I, they charged me a lot. They didn't bend. I want perfection. Myron, I've been going back and forth and back and forth. And let me just be real with you, Myron. Here's the last conversation I had with him. They said, you want us to do the whole house? I'm talking about the bathrooms got wood. I'm talking about the washrooms got wood. My man was like, bro, you want us to come in and do a whole? Do you understand what that... I said, let me say this to you, bro. I got a million people. I got two million people on Instagram. <laughs> I got a few million on YouTube. I got a podcast. If you want me to talk about your company in front of the whole world, if 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 you want, if you if you, I said, bro, let me just be, let me keep one thousand with you, bro. I ain't said nothing about how y'all screwed me. I've kept it my podcast, my sermons, my I've kept it away from the world. But if you want me to get on national and you want me to talk about your 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 builders and your and you want me to use my influence to let folks know they don't never need to buy a house from y'all. I'm I'm a grown man, bro. You dealing with I don't know who you think you're dealing with. I'm a grown man. If you want me to get online and tell them or you're going to fix my floors. Let me just tell you all two days ago. I was with the interior designers getting ready to get get the new floor, get the new floor. And my wife wants pain and suffering. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But you can't flex. You can't be no boy flexing on nobody. <laughs> right? You can't be flexing on nobody when you're a boy. But when you become a man, you don't even have to flex. And your gift shall make room for you. Wherever you put your foot is going to be blessed. So I leave you. 2022 is all about development. And the cool thing is, you ain't got to wait on nobody for your breakthrough. Your breakthrough is in your development. I'll say it again. Your breakthrough is in your development. How do I know? Because in that time alone, Samson came to himself. <laughs> Samson came to himself. He just needed some time for personal development. <laughs> he was a little too busy when he was running up on chicks. 
He was just a little too busy when he was partying. He was a little too busy when he was drinking. He was a little too busy when he was doing uh, uh, riddles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was a little too busy when he was putting up, uh, uh, he was taking whole cities and carrying them away. He was too busy when he was laying hands on folk. He was too busy, like some of you, you're too busy chasing stuff that you're not getting developed. And may I suggest to you, once you get developed, it's going to chase you. Well, may I suggest to you that once you get developed, is we getting chased right now by Federal Express. Eight figure, nine figure deal. We getting chased. We getting hawked down by these different companies. Why? Because they see my integrity. They see I'm not perfect. But when you go online, I don't got no chick on the side. I ain't got no babies on the, the development. It's, I'm not telling you it's going to be easy, but you can do it. I'm telling you. And Samson went on ahead, got that time alone, the blind ministry, the away from his friends and family, the in a cave ministry. And guess what? His hair started to grow back again when he got developed. <laughs> yep, right there doing development, the hair start growing again. Right there doing, right there in personal development. Hair start growing again, start feeling that chest, them chest muscles again, start feeling them arm boys again. <laughs> he just needed some personal development, amen. And may I suggest to you right now, that you not, you not, God ain't trying to hurt you. You like, you in a holding place right now. You done lost your job. You may be in the hospital. You might even be in prison. You might, you might be watching this from the youth detention center. I don't know. May I suggest to you that this is not the worst thing that ever happened to you. May I suggest to you when I was homeless, that was the first time I began professional development 101. I said, yo, God, we homeless. What we going to do? He said, no, we're not homeless. You homeless. But I will help you, though. <laughs> it's time for development. It's time to go to church. I've been telling you to go to church. It's time to go to church. And when you go to church and do what you're supposed to do in church, that's going to open up another door. I just happened to go to a church. I just happened to go to a church, y'all. That had, um, what are we calling it, Myron? Uh, give me the name for it. Uh, it's not school days. Uh, what is it called when you go to Oakwood and visit Oakwood? College days. We, I just, Myron, I just happened to go to a church that had college days. <laughs> I just happened to go to a church that had a college called Oakwood that was a part of the, come on, y'all. So I went to church and did what I was supposed to do. Got baptized like I was supposed to. Came to church regularly like I was supposed to. And then the member said, we're going to send you to Oakwood. Went to Oakwood, did what I was supposed to. Somebody saw me from Michigan State. Went to Michigan State, the master's, the PhD. Started doing pro Are you hearing what I'm saying? I, but in all of that, I developed myself. It's time for you to get your hair back. It's time for you to get your hair back. It's time for you to get your, your, your chest muscle back. It's time for you to get your biceps and triceps. It's time to get that, it's time to get that stuff back. And the only thing it's going to take is a breakthrough. And all a breakthrough is, is a sudden, dramatic discovery of yourself. And it allows you to figure out where you are, where you need to do, be, and do the inner work. That's my time, Myron. I don't know if we got time for Q&A, but I'm here. I'm here for it, though. I'm here for it, though. Development, y'all. Development, development, development. I'm sorry personal development because some of y'all developing your wives your kids you telling everybody else what they need to do and you ain't doing nothing for yourself I i'm sorry personal development is the beginning to a blissful and joyous and wealthy and whatever life y'all yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, talk to me, man. I'm sorry. I know I went over a little bit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ain't no such thing. Oh, as, ain't oh, no such oh, thing. You ain't oh, going over. I'm sorry. Can you put that link up? I don't think you. There we go. Yeah. There we go. You see the link, y'all? Please, 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 please get out of your poverty mindset. Vandy, you know what's so funny to me? When somebody asks us to pay for development, we ask a bunch of questions, but when we paying for alcohol, we ain't asking no questions. <laughs> You know, it's weird to me, bruh. Yeah. You found a pair of shoes you can't even afford. You got enough shoes already. There's no question. You buying a car that you can't afford. Mm -hmm. A house. Check the check. You have never asked yourself the question, should I buy this? Should mm -hmm. I do this? Mm -hmm. But as soon as it comes to mm -hmm. professional development. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I, Myron, I, on, on life, Myron, I just had to talk with my mother yesterday. Uh, because my mother comes from the working class and I'm trying to teach my mom that ma, I feel you, but God blessed us. The first level was hands. The second level is mine. Mm -hmm. The people who make in billions are mm -hmm. not working with their hands. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, mm -hmm. not, they're not working with their hands. Mm -hmm. They're not working with their hands. Mm -hmm. They're not even, mm -hmm. they, I don't even know what they, they, <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave that alone. And so my mom said, yeah, one of the men in your community, you know, uh, does 
workouts for elderly. And, and I, I don't want to lift weights no more. It's just too much. And I want to get in his program. I was like, okay. And so she's called my man. He was like, yo, your son has helped me a lot. So I'm not going to charge you this. I'm going to charge you this. And my wife was like, my mom was like, man, that's a lot. Right. And so I was talking to my mom and I was like, mom, let's talk for a minute. Tell me how you spend some of your money that's not on bills or whatever. She's like, well, I bless your sister. You know, she needed this, this and that, you know, and then your grandma, you know, she needed this, this and that, you know, and then your uncle. I said, stop. You mean to tell me that you blessing people and you ain't getting nothing for it and you're not going to pay this man to help you with your own health? I said, do you know if you die, you ain't going to be able to help my sister? And if you die, grandma going to be stuck. And if you die, your brother's going. I said, Ma, take some of the money that you're giving to them and spend it on yourself. That's a poverty mindset. That's a poverty mindset. You sitting up here not want to pay my man. What you want him to come on for free? He got <laughs> my man got stuff to do. He got this as a business. He gave you a discount. Come on, what do you want? And so I just find it funny that anytime y'all got to pay for something that's, you just, and here's the deal, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Why am I on my way to be a billionaire? I'm not sweet. I'm not intelligent. I, I didn't murder it at Oakwood. I wasn't the smartest kid at Michigan State. But one day the Lord blessed me to be in a room with Warren Buffett. At that time, he was the second wealthiest man in the world. I was with Bill Gates. I, I'm sorry. I was with Warren Buffett, the owner of Dan Gilbert, the Cap Cleveland Cavaliers, like Myron. I was in this room with these folk, Myron. I got there early. I took pictures of everybody, you know, who was in the room. They, they named badges, went back, studied it. <laughs> you feel me? That, that was when the low, Olivia Pope, that's when that was out. So I took it and went back and studied. Bro, it was a room full of billionaires. And I remember taking a picture in the room with those guys and I was next to Warren Buffett. And I remember, you know, just like eating that experience up. And God was like, son, what are you going to do with that experience? I mean, what do you mean, God? I was there. I spoke. I took pics. I was geeked. God was like, do you think I put you in the room with Dan Gilbert and Warren Buffett because I wanted you to take a picture and say you was in the room with them? I put you in a room with billionaires because I want you to be one. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying. Y'all not hear what I'm saying. Y'all got to hear what I'm saying. I am on the journey of being a billionaire because I'm in the circle with billionaires. I have friends who are billionaires. So it don't have nothing to do with being having friends that are billionaires. Now I'm in the room with them. It's a different conversation. It's not one you can't have. It's not exclusive, but they decided they wanted to be billionaires. They decided that they want to help the, uh, solve the world's problems. You don't become a billionaire to buy a house and cars. They want to solve the earth's problems. So I'm in the room with these dudes like, oh, the earth's problems. Oh, I got it. Oh, okay. Bandy, my wife and I put $500,000 into an old medical facility and turned it into a church. Right. We give scholarships to our babies at our church, pay for them to go to school. I'm not trying to be a billionaire so I can ball. I still just drive a Cadillac. You know, I'm from Detroit. I got a Cadillac. You know what I'm saying? Some 20 folds on it. You feel me? I don't, I don't want no, I'm not looking to get no Bentley. All right, but listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Because I'm in the room with billionaires, I'm becoming a billionaire. Cannot become a man in a room full of boys. And what Myron and them are offering you, come on, Myron, how much does it, give me the VIP. I don't even want to hear about that other foolishness. I want to know how much the VIP costs. Um, it's 197 Bruh. Bruh. My what is ninety seven? What is ninety seven dollars a day? <laughs> Bruh, watch this, y'all. My be. lowest package for yeah. my program that don't include me is thirty five hundred dollars, and you won't get me. <laughs> like you're not about to get me every day for no thirty five hundred. I'm making one hundred fifty thousand dollars to speak. You're not about to get me for that price. Now nah, I'm gonna come on every time. But I'm telling you, thirty five. He just said, "Bruh, <laughs> that, that's the that's a pair of J's. Your life." Listen to me very closely. You got multiple pairs of J's, but you don't have multiple pairs of development. <laughs> you got multiple pairs of J's sitting in your room right now, worth hundreds of dollars, but you ain't spending no money. Bro, kill me. Bro, miss me with that. You fake. You fake. Y'all fake. And I'm going to tell you why I'm saying y'all fake and why most of y'all ain't going to be blessed because the only time you get on these kind of programs is when they free. That's the only time you get on is when they free. That you just let me just be real with you. There are certain blessings you're not gonna get if you ain't spending no bread, bro. If you're not making a financial sacrifice, 
bro, I just had a kid yesterday, Myron. He was like, E, I want to learn the assessment through you because I see how you use it to develop people. My man was like, E, how much it cost? I said, bro, you can't pay me what I'm, you can't pay me what I make 150 an hour. You couldn't pay me that. What do you have? My man said, I got seven grand. And you and Myron saying 197? My man about to pay me seven grand. <laughs> you get you about to get Myron and the whole Vandy out, the whole crew for a hundred and nine. Bruh, that ain't that. Don't nobody charge that but preachers. <laughs> and let me tell y'all something. Y'all better hurry up and get it for 197. Because by the time I train him on what he should be charging, it won't be 197. I promise you, in G in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm about to continue to develop this young man. And I promise you a year from now, it won't be 197. That is age. He, he, he robbing himself. Okay. He giving it away for free. So do me a favor. Stop being, stop being ignorant. You're not cheap because you got $180, $200 pair of Jordans. You got $300 pair of dress shoes. You got suits and ties. You ain't getting nothing for it. You not get you, oh you you are somebody telling you you look good like you get affirmation okay I'm sorry you are getting a little affirmation you are getting uh, complete strangers to tell you you sweet but but that's not inner work for one ninety seven you getting cats like me for free Myron hit me up I'm like when and where I, he's like e six o'clock I'm like okay well that's three o'clock for me you know what I'm saying so that mean I gotta get up at two because I can't get up and get straight on talking to you I gotta talk to God first. So do me a favor, www.mensbreakthroughchallenge.com. I don't know, you're watching it now, you're watching the replay, do yourself a favor. 197, okay, Myron, just because I don't know when you're going to get me again. I was in um, Mexico for a retreat that we do. Every year we do this. Uh, I'm sorry, I was there for Jamal, Make Real Estate Real. Uh, we're in Mexico. Dude run up to me. First of all, I'm not supposed to be there, but I'm there for my boy, Ma. But I stand in the back of the room trying to get away from everybody. My man see me, my man come up to me like, yo, bro, I got a gift for you. I was like, oh, okay, like, here we go again. He was like, I brought it just for you. I'm like, okay, you didn't even know I was going to be here. You know what I'm saying? Like, be for real. You know what I'm saying? My man, like, I brought it just for you. I'm going upstairs to grab it right now. I was like, all right, cool. Man, come back. He was like, before I give you this gift, I'm telling you, I want you to know this is a seed. I was like, oh, thank you. My man ain't stupid, Myron. My man ain't dumb. My man said, I want to have a relationship with you. Like, I want to be, a, I want to be your friend. I was like, okay, cool. I don't know that I can do that for you, but what is it that you want? He said, here go $10,000. I just want to plant a seed. I just want you to know at some point, I just want to be your friend. <laughs> uh, Brandon, can you get on here real quick? Brand, can we get Brandon on real quick? Hit the thing, uh, men's breakthrough uh, challenge.com. Listen to me, y'all. I got tons of African-American men telling me they want to work for me. My right, one of my right hands right now is a white male. <laughs> Listen to me very closely. Right, I, Brandon, can you tell them? Okay, so just say yes or no. You had a job, Brandon, and you said, I want to work for you, E, but you had a job opportunity. How much was that job going to pay you? 60 grand a year. How much was I going to pay you for uh, for the, the three months I told you I needed you to come? If you want to work for me, here's the conditions. How much did I tell you I was going to pay you? Eleven hundred a month. Hmm. How much did they tell you they was going to pay you? Sixty. And you came to work for me for eleven hundred a month. Yes, sir. Now, 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 now you said, E, I need a guarantee, though, that when I finish this eleven hundred, I need a guarantee that I'm gonna work for you because they offering me 60. Did I give you a guarantee? Nope. What did I tell you? You said we have to go through the process and see what I what I can do. So then you were gonna go through the process. There was a chance I could say no. Mm -hmm. And if I if you went through the process and I didn't think you were a fit, it means you were gonna miss out on what? The job, the 60. <laughs> and he stayed. B, tell them why you stayed. You what? What? Why did you stay? There's something you told me about. You noticed a pattern. What was the pattern that you noticed? I just started looking around at everybody who got close enough to you. CJ, Carl, Jamal, everybody who got close enough to you. To me, it just seemed like they blew up. So I said, I don't know what's happening over there, 
but I know I need to get close enough to it. <laughs> Y'all not hearing what I'm saying? For $197, <laughs> you got an opportunity to get in the community, which I am a part of. Like, I'm here. And whenever he needs me, I'm here. Now, I might not be his rod, you know, rod or die like Vandy, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm here though. I am here. They both know when they need me, they call me up, call me out the dug. I'm in the dugout. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I'm, I'm a DH. I can't, I, I can't play the field and bat. You know what I'm saying? I can't do both. But I, you know what I'm saying? But if you want me to come up and bat a little bit, I can bat for you. And so what I'm telling y'all is people pay me to be in the community. Why? Because they smart. They understand that the community is where it's at. They understand if you get close enough to ET, there is a prop. B, I, let's just be 100 with the people, B. So you've been working for me, what? Has it been a year? A little bit over a year? A little bit over a year. Mm -hmm. A little bit over a year. I called you the other day and asked you what? Uh, you said, do you want to make, you said you want to make more. Good. I added, But I asked you what before I asked you if you wanted to make more. I asked you what? What I'm currently making. At one one thousand percent, because I don't run the business. I don't know. And you told me what fifty, and I said it's not gonna happen. If he said no to sixty, he's proven himself in a year. I gave him a year to prove himself. He well, and so I said to him, Bandy, I could just do six. He said, No, I'm good with the fifty, because I was given an opportunity that you don't know about. That every time you speak, I get a percentage of that. And so that's going to take me way over 60. I said, well, we good then. <laughs> we good. We want that. But I never want whoever was going to get you, I never want you to feel like I should have went with them. I always want you to feel like I, this is where I, I made the right choice. I want your mama to know you made the right choice. Mm -hmm. I want your daddy to know you made the right. Mm -hmm. I want your girlfriend to know you made the right choice. So here's what I'm trying to tell you. Your broke self is never going to get to the next level because you don't want to make a... A hundred, 197 a month, Myron. 197 a month. No, no, no. This is just this. This is just for the challenge. That's it. This is just for three days. Three days is for three days. Oh, come That's on, it. come That's on. It. That's <laughs> pennies. So do me a favor, y'all. Hit it right now. You have 197 to blow because you blew it on her before. <laughs> you blew it on her for a possibility. <laughs> Myron, can I talk in this form? Oh, right yeah. here, I just don't know. I don't know if this is a safe space. <laughs> is this a safe space? You, 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 you paid it. You paid it for some stuff that you didn't even know you was gonna get, and you was willing to sacrifice the one ninety seven. Mm -hmm. Sacrifice the one ninety seven. Three days, not even a hundred dollars a day. All right, I'm I'm done, Myron. I'm sorry for going overboard. I'm sorry. Oh no, you ain't, you ain't go overboard. Not the way my phone blowing up right now. Uh, <laughs> brothers ain't playing listen i, I just want to say first of all we want to thank everybody shout out thank et uh brandon we appreciate you as well uh but y'all y'all need to get in these comments right now and say thank you uh this man got up at 2 30 this morning uh or maybe earlier than that i'm not sure maybe it was two he told me to, he told just me to be his early. alarm clock just a little bit early it's okay <laughs> hey, hey i gotta say this i gotta say this eric with eric Th with eric thomas y'all know et <laughs> thank god it's monday y'all know who i'm talking about when <laughs> When Eric, when Eric tells you I need a wake up call, yeah. <laughs> that means he getting up early. A sacrifice yeah. was made for him to yeah. be here this morning. Yeah. And hey. so, listen, man. Hey, love Bandy, you, love I, man. Told, I said, Bandy, when I'm on the West Coast, I can't lie and say, I uh, know alarm clock needed my passion to wake me up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> I said, my ring, call and wake, my call and wake me up. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm going to say this, man, in closing, that I'm going to ask ET to pray. Honestly, fellas, it's 2022. The yeah. man that I already told you it's a year of development. Yeah. That's something that the Lord has confirmed in my yeah. spirit. And listen, we're going to develop together. These three days yeah. are just to put you in the right position. That's it. Yeah. And honestly, ain't nothing else needs to be said except that you need to go ahead and purchase what you need to purchase for yourself and for some other brother. Because yeah. honestly, yeah. man, if you get developed and you got yeah. brothers around you, you got sons, you know what I'm saying? You got uh, you got you got cousins and they not getting That's developed. Friends. You got partners, friends. Yeah. yeah. It, I mean, listen, you you still rolling with those people. Why not all y'all yeah. get developed together? Yeah. yeah. And so go ahead and make that move right hey. now. A lot hey, of Mar, yeah. It, mm -hmm. it will cost you more. It will cost you more to not get them developed. It will cost you more. Let me tell you why. 
Because when you are healthy and you blow up, you're going to become a bank to them. Mm. It, they, they better roll with you. You better I'm get them to being, come with I'm you. Just, I'm just being honest. Not disrespectful. But when you blow up and the people around you don't blow up, mm -hmm. then you got to pay for them when you go out to eat. Mm -hmm. You got to pay for their flights when you travel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I, I don't mean that in a bad way, but I'm saying, why would you pay six thousand dollars for your boy to travel with you when you could pay one ninety seven and get him developed? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It don't even make sense. Why? Mm -hmm. Why would you make money and have your boy call you, "Hey, bro, I need to borrow three grand," when you could just pay one ninety seven right now for him, and he can get the same content, same information you get, and it's two of y'all now. That's the bank, mm -hmm. or three of y'all. That's mm -hmm. the bank. Or four mm -hmm. y'all, come on, y'all. You're mm -hmm. not. You, did you hear what Brandon said? He said, "I saw CJ, I saw Carl, <laughs> I saw Jamal, I saw John." He named the people off. Listen to me, CJ and I got another book. We got a book coming out this year, major publishing deal. But two years from now, we got a book that we're writing called "All My Friends Are Rich." <laughs> <laughs> we got a book coming out, y'all. All my friends are rich, and this same concept that we're talking about, we're gonna break the same concept down. Why? Because when all your friends are rich, it doesn't hurt you to be wealthy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt. You. But when all your friends aren't rich and you are, it hurts mm -hmm. you to be wealthy because you're doing it by yourself. So get in this community for 197. I don't know if y'all heard what I said. I am personally going to continue to develop these brothers. Mm -hmm. Everything I know, I'm gonna continue to give it to them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna continue to give them my tools and my resources. Mm -hmm. So if you join their program, you're going to get a part of me. Mm -hmm. and, I, I, and the cool thing is you're going to get it at a different rate. <laughs> but if you come to me directly, I'm choking you out. I'm choking you out. On purpose, I'm choking you out. Why? Because I'm 51 and I don't have another 50 years. So I can't mm -hmm. give Didi's I can't give Didi's time away anymore. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They're still young. You feel me? They're still young. They're still <laughs> 40. I'm going to give everything to them. They got a few more years before they cross over. I'm going to give everything to them. And while you could get it for 197 for them, but still get me, that, that's what you want to do. So appreciate you, brothers. Myron. I just want to say this publicly to both of you for real. And I'm being 100. Like, I'm past uh, passing out compliments. I'm not on that no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, that don't do nothing for nobody. I am extremely grateful that you guys have decided to go into the business of developing men. And let me mm. say this to you. My rent, there is no competition because if all of us came together and put programs together, we still wouldn't have enough for men who need it. You know, we wouldn't. And the fact, Myron, that you guys are changing men, we all know when you change a man, you change a house, you change a school, you change a prison, you change a correction facility, you change a city, you change a state, you change the world, bro. So y'all keep doing what y'all doing. As long as I have strength, resources, and bre uh, like a voice, bro, we're going to keep rocking together. And many of you need to know we're not doing, doing this for Instagram and to make money. We've been on this, y'all. We've been, we've been all rocking together since they stepped foot on Oakwood College campus. Mm -hmm. I was there for them. For, uh, I'm talking about when they got on campus and showed that they were, you know, even when they were young, you could see they, you, Mike, you could see Michael Jordan in North Carolina. He had some. You could see these boys had some at Oakwood, and I've rocked with them, and I've been on their side long before I became ET, the hip hop preacher. I always been ET. I wasn't a hip hop preacher, and so love you guys. Appreciate you guys sticking in there, doing what you're doing for the men. You got my money. You got my time. You got my influence. You got my support. And to Jesus comes or um, he lays me down to rest, my brothers. Man, love you, brother, man. Yeah. Appreciate it, E. Appreciate, Appreciate it. you. All right. Bless Listen, y'all, y'all have a blessed day. I'm going to tell y'all right now, my encouragement to you is to go on ahead and, uh, and, and, get the, and, get, and, get, and get the men's breakthrough now. The price is going up as soon as we end this broadcast. <laughs> I'm going to give you 30 seconds. I'm going to give you 60 seconds. And then we're going to end this thing <laughs> because as yeah. soon as this is over, uh, the yo, price yo, 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 Myron, yeah. seriously, man. Um, and, and Eric is right, man. I mean, you know, we've been rocking with this dude for a long time. And he's 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 developed us. Uh, mm -hmm. He's come to our rescue. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was youth director. He's always doing stuff for me. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, the point is well made. 
it, it's going to cost all of us as men more money mm. to be underdeveloped mm. than it would to be developed. Yeah. See, because underdevelopment right now, and I'm not going to re-preach what he did, but underdevelopment is why we are where we are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're underdeveloped because we're buying all this other stuff that's not mm-hmm. developing us. Mm-hmm. It's keeping us where we are. Mm-hmm. And so it's more expensive to remain underdeveloped. Our breakthrough comes when we get developed. And I'm, I'm just saying to those of you who are on here, um, you know, <laughs> this is not even like, you know, like preacher talk and you, you know what I'm saying? No manipulation. The bottom line is like, let's get the breakthrough. That, that's mm-hmm. why we came on here. Mm-hmm. The prayer is, is amazing. Um, you guys dropped words in here about how, how you felt about it. Yep. <clears throat> but the week of prayer is not the it. Mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. development mm-hmm, mm-hmm, is mm-hmm. it the release. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, this is why we this is why we came together because um I I, I know for sure that you have um, along with everyone on the team, you have this desire for us to stop being underdeveloped. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And, uh, you know, of course, after we're done, I mean, this is going up. Um, and, uh, man, let's not miss out on this opportunity to be developed. I mean, to be in the room. <laughs> let's let's get in the room. And uh, you and I have been in the room with E uh, for, for a long time. Uh, but there's some other brothers that need to get developed. And that's why God has given us this, this precious opportunity, man. Um, so Kyle says underdeveloped is like having bad credit. <laughs> You're gonna pay more. Goodness, that's it. That's it. All right, can you hear me? Can you yeah, hear me? Hear yeah. Okay. Yeah, my mic has been tripping. Listen, man, we need to pray. Listen, this 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 week has been um, it's been life changing. I want to encourage you, brothers. Uh, all of the sermons are going to be on YouTube. They're all going to be on YouTube. Um. You need to grab these and you need to send these to brothers. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, that's, that's the first place you can start. Just start just start tagging folks on your social media. If you know a brother need to hear. And if you haven't heard it, maybe you show up today because you want to hear E.T. I strongly encourage you. You need to go back. You need to listen to Wesley Knight. You need to listen to Jeremy Anderson. You need to listen to yours truly. That's how Bird says. As yours truly. You need to listen to Dr. Noah, Noah Washington. Mm-hmm. This, this can be development for somebody just hearing this. Mm-hmm. If you want to take the next step. You need to go on ahead and make an investment in yourself. Listen, we love you. We're going to go ahead and pray you out and pray you a blessed day and an amazing year. Uh, This won't be the last time that we have these men's week of prayers throughout the year. But more importantly, we're having these challenges every month. Uh, But you need to get in this one right here, because like E.T. said, I can't I can't promise you. That's my mentor. My mentor then told me, he said, man, I'm charging too, I'm, I'm charging too, too, too little money. So I, I don't think it's going to be that in February when we do it again. But in January, you need to go ahead and make this decision. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much for uh, the uncomfortableness of what mm. we've heard all week, that this won't let us stay average, won't let us stay normal, won't let us stay dysfunctional, won't let us stay in the mindset that we have been in. I, I sent you pulling out a strong army of men in 2022 who want to be developed at whatever cost it takes. Mm. They, they refuse to remain undeveloped, underdeveloped, mm. lazy, uh, indolent. Lord, we, we can't, we, we stuck. We're not, mm. we're not doing that anymore. Yeah. It's time that we, we ain't going to be hooked on pornography and still smoking weed and, and, and still on alcohol and still running women. We, we, we ain't doing that no more. We, we, we ain't going to be like workaholics and not good fathers. We're we done with that. We're not going to be mm-hmm. sitting around talking about what we our potential, but never tapping into it. We're done with that. It's time for a breakthrough. breakthrough. And we, re- we heard today that a breakthrough is based on our decision. Mm. We, we make the decision. The Lord he gave us Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We mm. got to decide to do some things to tap in. And so, mm. Father, right now, I just pray for every man, every man, even woman, boy or girl that tuned in this week. Holy Spirit, I pray that you set them up. Set mm. them up to break through whatever it mm. is that's binding them. We pray right now that you do it. As I pray in Christ's name. Amen.
Hey, much love, man. We had a great time this week, man. Bro. Yes, sir. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. All right, fellas. Peace.